It's Eskimo of GetRichRapping.com, EskimoCoBeats.com. Don't make hits, make history. Don't get mad, get motivated. This is a video on how most people aren't handling their business, how they can start to handle their business, and we can spot why they're not handling their business. So let's go. What's a business? Well, it can be a publicly trading business, an organization, or it could be a non-profit organization. But the key word here is organization. So it's safe to assume that if you're not making any organized effort, you don't have a business. If you're not organized, if you're not established as an organization, you are not a business. So telling others to handle their business or talking about how you're on your business, that cannot be true if you're not working in an organized fashion. If you don't know where you are with it, if you're not, if it is a profit organization, then make profit. It's not a profit organization until you're making profit. So let me just point out a few things, a few things out there that a lot of people are doing that lets me know that obviously they're not running as a business. Now, if you're a business, you know, you know about branding. You know, as a business, you should be a brand. I say it all the time, you know, I've got a lot of articles on GetRichRapping.com. You should check it out. I've actually got a four-part series. Well, it's an ongoing series. There's four parts so far. Just going to be adding to it as we go along. I also have a product coming out that's dedicated to branding for a rapper. But uh, I'll keep you updated on that, not to diverge from the point. Nothing else matters other than your customers in business. Your business itself and your customers, the value that you provide. Now, being out there shouting your mouth off, playing the big man and, and doing all this, all you're doing is pushing customers away and potential customers away. See, people need to trust a business. People need to know that if they put money, put their hard earned money, because a lot of people are out there working jobs to do that they don't like whatsoever they've got families to support they've got bills to pay so if people pay you money you need to respect that you need to like you don't know what they've done to get that money or, or what they're sacrificing to to spend that money with you so what you should be doing is always inspiring always motivating I've looked on my news feed, people talking about how they're the, the biggest gangster. They're talking about like, don't please don't get this twisted. Like, if you are an artist, like you're a business. Please don't get it twisted. Don't think that the rules of business don't apply to you because you're this big rap star. You are a business or you should be a business. So you should be following business principles. You should be looking up on how business works. You should be looking up on how to one, establish yourself as a legitimate business. Two, how to expand. See, you can sit there all you want and you can think this information is going to fall on your lap, but you need to be proactive and find it. If you have a question, if, you, if you're just sitting there and you think, oh, I wonder how to, go find out. Don't just feel like, oh, I don't know, well, let's leave it. Talk on your blunt and then just carry on playing on your game or whatever. I don't know what you do personally, but... If you're not seeing progress and getting somewhere, you're clearly not doing the right stuff. So if you think ever think to yourself, oh, I wonder how to do this, go find that shout. You can hit me up. Like anyone who knows me knows you can hit me up if you've got me on any of my social medias. I'll give you the answer. If I haven't got the answer, I'll find out. That's a win for both of us because now we both know. So I don't mind going out and getting that information because I'm always happy to learn more and even more happy to share that with you so you can learn more. And that's what the whole essence of business is. Business is, is to provide value to your customers. And that's why it doesn't matter what your competitors say, what your friends say, what, what other people say. What, like, the only thing that you should care about as a business is what your customers say. If they don't say anything, that's, that's terrible. If you're not being mentioned or, or supported or you're doing a terrible job, if you're out there giving out value, it must not be value if people aren't feeding it back and helping you out. And that's how it works, you know? 
I could go out there and 100, help 100 people, at least 50 of them are going to support you to do what you do, put you on a stage to help 200 people, at least 100 people now are going to help you to go out there, then you've got 400, like, do the math. If you're not out there helping people, you're, you're not going to see your business go anywhere. I'm just going to be real with you, like, handling business is a term that gets thrown around too often by the wrong people. People think that going and punching someone in the face is handling business. But I say handling business is sitting down with someone that you have a problem with and discussing it over food like men. I mean, if you're a boss, that's what bosses do. Or I'm even more likely to, if I have a problem with someone, just be like, yeah, whatever, go do you. Success is the best revenge, although it shouldn't be done in revenge, but just if you're out there killing it, you win. You win. Don't didn't have to go to jail, didn't have to die, didn't have to get put in hospital. And now don't get me wrong, I, I'm not the type of guy that'll run away like it's I think there's a lot of things you can do before it become it comes to the point where you have to hurt a human being to get your point across should be able to talk about it and that's just in that terms of people saying handling business and the real thing behind this video is is people have got business messed up and what they think business is if you want to be a businessman handle business now if you're not conducting yourself professionally you cannot expect others to one want to pay you for a start two follow up on what they're saying and then everything else that goes with that if you're not serious they're not going to be serious and that's why a lot of opportunities I've given people, I've given opportunities to artists, I've given opportunities to producers, I've given opportunities to friends, opportunity, like I, I'm just a walking, talking opportunity, I'm just giving them out left, right and centre, but not to everyone, obviously if you, if you think, oh no he's not, he's not doing anything for me, it's just because you haven't shown, shown anything, not to say you're not doing anything, it's just I haven't personally seen it or whatever, but like, how, how I handle with people who aren't reliable. Here's the thing, you've got to be reliable. You've got to be reliable in business. How I handle people who aren't reliable is give you a shot. If you don't take it, then I'm not looking to do any more business with you. If after time, you know, that kind of dies down and you want to sort of get another opportunity from me or whatever, or, or do some more business with me, then expect to pay more than everybody else would pay because of You've shown yourself to be a liability rather than, than an asset and that's how it works in business, that's how it goes. If you're if someone's moving ahead with their business and and you and they give you a a bit of energy like because it's all energy really, everything's energy. So the energy of my momentum, if I go and give that to some share some momentum with them, like yeah, have some of this energy I'm working with and go use that to go take that somewhere and then they just go and let me down don't hit me back blah 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 whatever this video is not about me and my business it's just an example of things that can happen in your business so it's just time to first that i just want people out there to go and look up the word business study the word business for a start just study what a business is before you even consider yourself a business before you consider talking about how you're handling business and about your you, you know what i'm saying it's time to read up it's time to study if you need to know something in particular you can hit me up like i say if i don't know the answer you're not leaving the conversation without me having an answer for you so yeah shout out to everyone have a great day today's a day for business take the step today the first step is the most difficult because that's the decision but a decision is not a decision until you take action so it's, it's all good saying i'm going to start a business today or i'm going to start getting on my business today but until you do something to start that business it's just thoughts just a pipe dream make it happen let's go let's go 2015 in a minute you're going to be making your 2015 resolution about how 2016 was going to be is going to be your year just like this year just like the year before time doesn't matter when you're doing it time it doesn't matter what year it is doesn't matter what day it is what what time it is it's only now 
if you're about it, it's only now and right now you're going as hard as you can go. And I promise you, if that's your way of life, if that's how you operate everything you do, you're going to be one successful mofo. Trust me. Don't make hits, make history. Don't get mad, get motivated. GetRichRapping.com I'll put a blog post underneath, underneath, <laughs> underneath there's something to do with this. Much love. Peace.